Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is my channel all about knitting. Today is going to be a vlog video. My plan is to see how much I can knit in a day, but we'll kind of see where the day takes us, see what ends up happening, but you're gonna be following me around for the day and see what I get up to. If you're interested in finding me anywhere on socials, all my links are down below in the description. And I'll also try and link everything that I talk about today. So let's jump on in. Good morning. Where are you today? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. So here's where I'm starting today. In all honesty, I have knit one row. I did put the progress keeper in though, so don't worry. <laughs> but I uh, was kind of getting everything set up and ready for today and waking up. And so I knit a little bit before I started recording, but yeah, this is where I am. We're gonna see how much I can get done on this in a day. I have a relatively busy day. I have to package what I can from the order, the pre-order this past weekend, and then sit down and do my numbers, figure out what I need to order for yarn, it's laundry day, all sorts of stuff, but we'll see. I am really, really wanting to wear this. Oh my gosh, the cables feel so pretty. That's why I keep doing this, but I am really, really wanting to wear this cardigan. This is the louder cardigan that's gonna be coming soon from Rebecca Klo. And so I'm excited to see how much I can get done today. So. I finished a ball of yarn on the body and then my plan was going to be to pick up for the sleeves and do the sleeves. I felt like I kind of needed a break from the body and oh my goodness I am having the hardest time getting the pickup rate on these sleeves so I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> um, the pattern calls to put a marker at like the halfway point and then pick up a certain amount on each side and I cannot get it even on both sides and I don't know why so I think maybe it's time to set this down take a break <laughs> go do something else because I'm getting a little frustrated and we know that is never a good way to do these things but yeah I don't know I don't I don't know what's going on with these sleeves but oh I love the cables I feel like I'm gonna say that 10,000 times in this video but Love these cables. This is definitely turning into more of an everyday vlog, <laughs> but it is what it is. The next thing I need to do while we're taking a break from that sleeve mess is uh, clean up this. This is what you don't see when I record a podcast, but this is becoming a little too much and there's literally no way that I can pack up orders that I have ready with this disaster going on. So, oh, I've got Umbrella lights behind me. I apologize. Actually, it's not too bad, but yeah, I'm gonna have to clean that up. It's a mess before I start packaging. This is still kind of left over from craft room reorganizing. I guess maybe I'll give you a sneak peek, kind of. It's not fully done. And it's still, like I said, a huge mess in here. So I did put in these shelves below my pegboard. Um, I'm waiting for doors for it. They were out of stock when I got the shelves, but I figured the shelves are better than nothing. I've added the calyx shelf that used to be over there, which I don't want my umbrella lights to get in the way, but I need them on because for some reason, the overhead lighting in this room is so yellow. It just looks awful. It used to be over there. Now it's over here. So we did that. And then I now have this shelf, which you've seen in the background of videos. And yeah, this is a mess. There's still a mess on the floor. I'm kind of at that point where like, I've got stuff I just don't know what to do with and where to put it. I feel like there's always a point like that when you're cleaning. So I'm going to at least try to do the desk today so I can get a couple orders packaged. And I have all of these that I need to twist. And then I'll inventory what I have dyed from the collection. I have to pull some stuff from this wall for it too, but then I'll be able to figure out 
what I need to order for the rest of the yarn since this was a pre-order. We'll go from there. Yeah, the, the desk is first priority for sure. That needs to be cleaned up. So we'll start there. These are literally everywhere in my home. <laughs> this is what I use to hold yarn when I'm dyeing it so that it's like easier to manage. And I'm so bad at putting them back down in my little dye dungeon, whatever you want to call it. And so they just get piled everywhere. And I have been lacking quite a few and this explains it. <laughs> okay, is it perfect? Most definitely not, but <laughs> I have space to do what I need to do. So I thought I would show you how to twist yarn because I don't have any fancy skein twister or anything like that. I have a, a spork <laughs> and I use my ball winder. So might as well show you. That is my super, super glamorous <laughs> skein twisting. Um, so I'm gonna sit down now and kind of go through the orders that came in, figure out which ones only have like a single skein or a couple skeins of one color so that I can get them off in the mail right away. And then that will make it so that I can uh, do my inventory for what I need to order for berry yarn to get everyone else's orders tied up. Not terribly exciting. Maybe I'll just do another montage sped up clip we'll see i'll film it but maybe it'll end up being super super boring and it won't end up in here at all we'll see but uh i usually just play music and start going through stuff and making piles and printing out shipping um, or packing slips and go from there
so we have two issues before I can continue. I ran out of ball bands and I print and cut those myself, so I need to do that. And I also noticed I'm super low on business cards, so I'm gonna have to put in an order for those. So, quick pause in the shipping for that. Ball band making is definitely one of my least favorite things to do. So I'll probably print out a whole bunch and do those all at once and then get back to what I was doing. So I think I packed everything I can. Everything else is like sure to scan or two or I need to fully dye a batch of it up. So I'm gonna take what I have left of inventory for the One More Scoop collection, count what I have up, then I'm gonna sit down and make a list of what I need to dye of everything um, and go from there. If any orders come in later, we'll deal with that when it happens, but. Yeah, because I think I'm going to be able to leave this open for, we'll see, we'll see how quickly I get these dyed once um, the berry yarn comes in, but I might just be able to leave it open for the next week. I might just leave it open, open, I don't really fully know. Um, but yeah, we'll count what I have sitting over there for inventory and kind of do all of that. The not so glamorous side. <laughs> This is the stuff I don't like. I like sitting at a dye pan and speckling stuff all over it, making something pretty. And then I have to do math and it's less fun, but music helps. talk about how cute this little lady is. Are you the sweetest? Are you the sweetest? Yeah. What do you want? Oh, what do you want? Hmm? Are you not so cute? You're the cutest. Stretch. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I'm not as fun, but <laughs> we're gonna go back upstairs to my craft room. She seems to think she's coming with me, but you're not invited. It's technically way later than lunchtime now, but that's about typical for me. <laughs> I don't think I ever eat lunch at a normal time if Chris isn't home. If Chris is home, I eat at 11 o'clock because he's hungry at like, well not 11 o'clock, 11.30 because he's hungry around then. But if he's not home, I just get distracted and I don't eat. So it's two o'clock now. I did have a little bit of something for breakfast, so it's not that I haven't ate at all all day, but I need to sit down and have some lunch have leftover ham and I made spetzel, which is like a German pasta noodle type thing you put through a press and like boil. Um, so I have that to eat. I should probably eat some sort of vegetable too. I'll probably just eat some carrots. I have some chopped up in the fridge, but yeah, need to eat. Food is important and I have not ate all day. And my dog seems to want some attention too. <laughs> so I better go back downstairs and hang out down there for a while. It is a absolutely beautiful day. I've got my dog outside with me. <laughs> um, it's like 20 degrees Celsius, which I 
think is 70 in Fahrenheit. But anyways, I figure I might as well sit outside and enjoy the weather outside. And I don't know what my dog's problem is. We'll check on that in a second. Uh, but I'm gonna attempt, sorry. I live near a slightly busy road, so it's kind of loud sometimes. Um, but I thought I would attempt round two at picking up stitches for the sleeves on my louder and see how that goes. Hopefully better and enjoy this weather and let my dog enjoy the weather. She's having so much fun. She's fine now. I think she forgot how stairs worked for a moment, which she does quite often. Also, has anyone else tried these? Um, it's supposed to taste like raspberry and spices. And I was worried. I'm, I'm the type of person when they come out with a new Coke flavor, I have to try every single kind. And this one worried me because I tried cinnamon Coke a couple years ago and it was disgusting. But this is really good. So, definitely, definitely gonna try this. Or not try it more often, I'm, I'm gonna drink it. I think it's a permanent flavor, I don't know. But, also I really hope that my wind thing is working on my camera. I've never tested this before, so this could be a completely useless clip, or it could be just fine, so we'll see. Finally, I don't know how many times that took me to get that pickup, and it ended up being something super simple, which was just two out of every three, which I feel like I had tried earlier and it didn't work, so I don't know what was going on, but all good now. I am ready to work on a sleeve. I'm excited. I am not the type of person who hates sleeves. I find they go so fast, which I love, so a lot of times I'll stop in the middle of the body now and start working on the sleeves to get that satisfaction of some finished sleeves and then move on to the body. So I guess we'll see how much we get done on the sleeves today. So I've hit a bit of a standstill. There may be a issue in the pattern, which happens with test knits. It's uh, something I expect. So I'm gonna have to put this aside for now until I hear back from the designer. But I have the short rows done on the sleeve, which is exciting. The lighting in here isn't the best, but yeah, that's no better. There, that kind of helped. <laughs> uh, so I have the sleeve cap done, which is exciting, but we'll set this aside for now and I'm gonna pull something else out to work on. So this is my inter-threading pullover. I'm gonna work on this now. This is uh, maple walnut from my most recent One More Scoop update. And you saw me earlier wind up a second cake of yarn for that because I want to start alternating skeins on it. I haven't done that yet, but we'll take this with me. I've been working out front now. Um, the wind wasn't so strong out front, so we'll go work out front on this and see how far we get. I should probably grab a progress keeper for it now that I'm thinking of it. It's after supper. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. It looks half decent on my monitor, so we'll see. This will be a uh, very good test of me using my new camera and figuring stuff out. And also remembering how to get my settings back when I have to record a podcast next week. <laughs> but uh, supper's done. I'm inside now. It's starting to get dark outside. So I'm uh, gonna sit down and probably knit for the rest of the night. I'm doing some laundry too. I hope you can't hear it in the background. Our washing machine is quite old, but uh, I still haven't heard back on my lotter, which makes sense because Rebecca lives in Scotland. So totally different time zones. Not worried about that at all, but uh, that gives me a little bit of push to work on my inter-threading, which I haven't done enough of lately. So hopefully I can get pretty far on it tonight. I put a progress keeper in there. So I guess we'll, we'll wait and see and see what, what happens with that but I have to show you my dog. Hopefully she doesn't move before I flip this. Leia, are you very cute? Leia? Hello, are you very cute? Anyways, I'm gonna get to work. Maybe I'll set up a, another little good old montage while I sit here for a little bit, but yeah, I'm pretty much settling in for the night now. 
Once dinner's done, I try to have everything done before dinner, minus laundry. I never, I always forget stuff is in the wash and then end up doing it all in the evening right before bed. But uh, otherwise, after supper, I try to get the kitchen cleaned up and then just settle down and do as little as possible. So that's my plan for the evening. Good morning, it is the next day. I totally forgot to film an outro for this one and an intro, so the intro is also being filmed now. But anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, I thought I would show you really quickly what I was able to get completed yesterday knitting-wise. Uh, you saw everything else that I was able to do with the update that was this past weekend, all that sorts of fun stuff, but I will show you as well what I was able to get done knitting-wise. I feel like I did not too bad for how busy the day was. Also, if you hear rumbling in the background, it's raining and thundery right now, which is the first time in quite a while that's happened, so <laughs> loud, but I like the rain. So yeah, I apologize if you hear that in the background, but uh, not much I can do about the outdoors doing what they want. So with my louder, I really didn't get anything done past what I was showing you last night. So I finally <laughs> figured out the sleeve pickup. I've got all the short rows done for the sleeve and then that's all I really got done on the body because I moved on to the sleeve. That pickup really threw me off and I wasn't able to get a lot done on it but I feel good. Still waiting to hear back from the designer so that's sitting to the side for now. I got a lot done on here so all the way up from this marker is what I completed. I'm almost done the repeats for the back of the body and then I'll be able to start picking up for the fronts. So yeah, I feel like I got quite a bit done. So with that being said, hopefully this video was enjoyable for you. If it was, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you're working on right now too. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It helps the channel out a huge, huge ton. Gets the videos out to other people out there in the knitting world on YouTube. You can also hit that like button so that I know that you enjoyed what you saw today. And I will see you next week for a regular podcast episode. Bye.